Namaste and welcome, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to DIY ombre your hair at home without a hair color or a hair bleach. Uh -huh. And I know many of you guys are going to be curious just to know how. And if you are someone like me who loves to try things by themselves within budget mm -hmm. and just try more things. You've just made a new friend here. Hey there. <laughs> so if you guys want to know how I got this look or how I colored my hair, stay tuned without any further ado. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so about a year, year and a couple months ago, I did color my hair and trust me when I say this, it turned out so beautiful, so, so, so pretty that even whenever I went to any salon, the people working there used to compliment me by saying, oh, your hair color looks really pretty. And me being me, I used to love flaunting it that, oh, I just did it by myself at home. <laughs> yeah. So, the secret ingredient is, general please, a face bleach. That's right, a face bleach. Now, yes, there is a difference between a hair bleach, like a normal hair bleach and a face bleach because face bleach is like the most gentlest bleach out there in the market. So, all you guys who are especially concerned about damaging your hair, all its texture in general go and give a face bleach a try because trust me it is really effective this brings me to another point that coloring your hair or bleaching your hair does not really damage your hair what depends what matters rather is the intensity with which you're bleaching your hair and the procedure that I'm about to share with you guys, trust me, it does not damage your hair because in this procedure, we are actually going to lighten the color of a hair and not strip it off to completely blonde. When that happens, yes, it does, like the texture does become extremely lifeless and that is exactly what I myself don't like, right? But this process, this procedure does give your hair a natural finish, right? And it just stays forever. Like it does fade, but it stays. And trust me when I say this, I loved my hair even more as it started fading, if that makes any sense, you know? So I will just give you a quick look of how my hair looks like after about a year of culling my hair it hasn't really damaged my hair you can see the color has kind of really faded let's, let's see the color has faded it does not look really ombre but it is still there and uh, spare me any split ends if you've seen any that is just because i haven't really gotten a haircut in about a year and a half or more <laughs> blame the nice outcome of this process this experiment so let's get on with what all we are going to need right one first you need face bleach now there are many face face bleaches out there in the market and there is not much uh, compulsion or a suggestion of you using a particular bleach like you can go in for fair moxy bleach or many other bleaches out there your choice completely whichever you're, you've tried or you're just more comfortable with it's fine next you're gonna need pair of gloves right any kind of gloves are fine surgical plastic ones but try to avoid those those uh, plastic ones which do not have a hold on your wrist because it does kind of get messy when you start applying it so yeah next you'll need some silver foil a comb and some clip. Okay, so now we first start by sectioning your hair. One tip that I would like to give you guys is while sectioning your hair, try not to go straight. Instead, go straight upwards. This will kind of ensure equal quantity of hair on both sides, on both hands. Alright, so I start with sectioning my hair. Okay, so now I have to go straight upwards. Okay, so this will kind of ensure equal quantity of now, one thing that you should keep in mind is that your color payoff depends on two things. One is how directly you are applying the product on your hair and also on the size of each section. And trust me when I say this, don't get lazy. If you need an extra two sections or more, 
container you can use the same container that you've got or you can just mix it in another container so i've kind of mixed the powder and the cream the both both the solutions in one it says let it settle for three minutes or so so i've done that three seconds sorry three seconds or so so i start taking my hair right or you can see the color Start applying it on both sides. Okay, once I feel I've applied a nice even layer. Time to cover it with a silver foil. So I've already cut a few silver foil papers. All right. So place your hair. Maybe you can just apply a tiny bit on top of it again, just to make sure. And then. I don't really know why they wrap it with a silver foil, but normal people do, so we are doing the same. Okay, so I might fast forward this next part. So yeah.
okay so about 18 minutes are kind of over so i will just quickly go wash this off pat it dry and be right back okay so i went washed my hair and let it air dry i did not use the hair dryer just because i don't want to expose them to heat immediately so this is what my hair looks like now yes they are wet and you won't see any color not just on my hair but even on yours if you try it don't get disappointed because it hasn't really dried once it dries completely and you go out in the sun you will see the color definitely right so we repeat the same procedure just here we need to determine the second layer what length do you want so my first layer okay move it out my first layer is kind of this much right so i will kind of want my second layer to be four fingers sort of this much yeah so we repeat the same procedure we start by sectioning the hair again washed my hair and I did go on to do another round of bleaching just on my tip so I just applied the bleach bleach same procedure I didn't want to bore you guys because I guess by now you've got the hang of the technique right so I kept that on for 20 minutes again wash my hair and this is now how my hair looks like I didn't style it on purpose because I wanted to show you guys how they look like naturally you can still see the yeah, so this is how my hair looks like. One tip that I like to give you guys is that your first round should not really exceed uh, 30 minutes and your second round as well. Uh, if you're not really happy with the color payoff, like it'll still look good but if you just want more color, just go on to do another round instead of trying to get that color in the first or second round itself because once it's too bleached, I know you can dye it black again anytime but It'll be really difficult to fix it if you were going in for a particular look. So just, just, just make sure you're not keeping the bleach in your hair for more than 30 minutes in one round. Like, so this is how my hair looks like. I hope you guys like this. If you like this, be sure to give a big, big, big thumbs up. Comment down below what you feel and do tag me if you guys try this. This particular DIY or just any other future DIYs. If you guys try it, be sure to tag me. I would love to see what you guys have done or if you've recreated something. Mm -hmm, I love to see it. You can connect to me on Facebook, Instagram, links in the description below. Also, if you guys are curious as to what exactly my channel will be like, it is also in the description below. So be sure to check that out. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and turn on the notification below so you don't miss any future load. So yeah, that is it guys. I am personally really happy with my hair color. Mm -hmm, I really love it. I hope you guys too. So 
until next time bye guys